Welcome to the Sports Show. Mike Max, Patrick Royce, Lou Nanny, and Sid Hartman. Let me warn you, Louie, when you sit in that seat, I saw it with Dark Star and I saw it last week. You better be careful. Oh, well. Because you don't know what's coming next. Well, got abused. Well, I was out of line last week. <laughs> Gee, you think? I apologize to Lavelle. Did you apologize to him directly? On the phone. Okay. I, uh, Left him a message, did you? I had a bad day last week. And, uh, but uh, he does try and. Uh, <laughs> So it really wasn't your fault. Yeah, so it really wasn't your fault. Yeah, eighty percent. When you of the think show. about it, all uh, right, Lavelle's yeah. just fine. He well, is. He is just fine. fine. He's with the twins as we speak. The twins. Yes. About the time we last week at this time we were talking about, hey, maybe this is a pretty decent team. And then well, I called him quite a bit on the Sunday show, and I called him today about talking that uh, they still might repeat last year. They certainly didn't have a very good road trip. And uh, the pitching kind of, until today, the pitching was in a tank. Well, not really, though. Hughes wasn't bad yesterday. Yeah. They don't score any runs. I mean, uh, uh, the guy they gave all the money to, uh, Morales, he's hit nothing. Uh, Mauer's come around. Uh, they got a shortstop. For the first time in history of the franchise, they got a guy hitting after today's game, 0-9-2. Oh, Florimone, yeah. Florimone, he's, he's, I'm sure, gone. Yeah, I, and a half. probably tonight, right? Nunez and Plouffe will be back, and he'll be gone, and uh, the kid they'll send back to A-ball, and hopefully Santana will get healthy. Santana, that was a weird injury. Did you see that, Louie? He's just running to second base. And Starts limping, yeah. yeah. Starts limping, but uh, but it's a bone bruise and that's worse. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, when you lose ten straight on the road, that's when you can't win on the road. That's a sign you're not a very good club. Yeah. And uh, now they come home and play Kansas City. As I've said before, they have one major issue. Most of the time, they're playing a team that's better than them. <laughs> that's that's you know they they are. They're not as bad as they were, but no, most of the time, the other team's better. And they're good enough to tease you, Louis. Well. That's one good thing about having 162 games. You get bright spots yeah. Yeah. besides your down spots. And so they've had they've had some along the way, and they're going to have a few more before the season's over. Who knows? You know, they've always had a pretty good history against Kansas City, even when Kansas City seemingly was better. So they might bounce back with a good uh, series against them. But it should be fun the next two weeks. you got the all you know, you yeah. got a homestand, you got the all-star game, and then you got a 10-game homestand, and uh, people go to baseball games in July even when they stink. So, you know, it should be a good month, and then you start training camp, and everybody forgets about it. <laughs> and then the Yankees come to town with your friend Derek Jeter making his final... Uh... Here's your problem, though. They probably got the worst defensive outfield. Uh, well, when Chris Parmley's playing center, yeah. you're probably not going to contend. Huh? Chris Parmley played center field today. Yeah, he did probably, okay, by the way. But yeah, uh, but his routine flies. I mean, they aren't going to cut off any runs. I'll tell you that, or hits or something. Jeter's a great, great young man, and uh, I got to know him pretty well through Steinbrenner. And uh, like a CBS guy was in town, even trying to get a picture with Jeter, forever in New York. Jeter just standing there. I said, "Hey, Derek, come here for a minute." Post for the picture. Uh, I got him some tickets for a while, uh, uh, Timberwolves game. He you never wait. forgot that. So well, I got did, a good relationship. You did that for. You're not supposed to do that for him, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's a heck of a guy. He What's got, he? Got about a 20-acre house in Tampa. Yeah, it's about 30,000 square feet, I guess. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Patrick, what's he meant to the game? Well, you know. It's, he's probably the greatest, you know, he, the people can tell you his fielding stats, uh, metrics weren't that great range and all that thing, but I think when you look at the all-time greatest baseball teams, the gap has always been shortstop. Who's the shortstop? And I think it's him. I'd take him over. I didn't see Honus Wagner, but I'm sick of hearing about Honus Wagner <laughs> from the 1920s. I think he's the greatest shortstop that ever played. Well, you played. saw Pee Wee Reese. I saw <laughs> Pee Wee, but this guy, when you add the uh, hitting part of the game and, and the, the winning part of the game, I think is the greatest shortstop. He wasn't ever. a good fielder. Oh, he was fine. He was he was fine. He wasn't he wasn't Ozzie Gian or I mean Ozzie. Uh, uh, he wasn't uh, Vizquel, but Ozzie Omar Vizquel, Omar Vizquel, But he was he was when you throw in the hitting part of the game, I think he's the best all around okay, shortstop that ever one. played. Let's throw in the leadership part of it, Louis. What does it mean when you have a guy like that can, can control a locker room to an extent, especially a locker room like that for that many years? Well, that, that's the most important thing I, that I was going to add to what Pat says. When you got a kid like that. 
that's not only a great baseball player but a great leader. That's very unique. The, the guy uh, was uh, one of the best leaders of all time, and, and I think that's what sets him apart. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you want your great players to be leaders, but when you get an exceptional leader like that, that's really a big bonus. Cool. There's a piece on the internet. I got my column tomorrow. Where Billy That's plagiarizing. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's plagiarizing. Kick it's plagiarism, yeah. man. I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen next. <laughs> Billy Bean, somebody asked him about Jeter, and he compared him with Puckett. He says, not many superstars are great leaders in the clubhouse, but Puckett was and Jeter is. And uh, that was pretty interesting uh, comparison. Is that true, Louis? That most there aren't that many great players that are also great leaders, and most of them kind of leave me alone, let me do my thing. Well, many times I, I'm not so sure if it's because the game comes so easy to them that they can't. That, that <coughs> when you even look at the coaches, stop to think about how many great players became great coaches. It's not nearly as many or as managers. you think. Yeah, or Tory. managers. Very, very few. Well, Tory wasn't as great a player. I mean, you're, he you're, was pretty good. Wasn't he was he? a good player, but I, I'm talking about great players. You know, and most of them don't coach because they players. don't have to either. Yeah. You know why Tory was such a good, great manager? Great Jeter. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At Mariano yeah. Rivera. Yeah. 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 Take a break. Come back. Stay with us. He wasn't that good a manager in Atlanta. The sports show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24/7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. And Soundpoint Audiology, life is worth hearing. Quality, it's the result of shared values. The joy found in an honest day's work. Respect for true American craftsmanship and the need, not the want, to get things right. It's the result of remembering your roots. Being forever humbled by how far you've traveled and forever hungry to push on further. Quality is a result. Quality is who we are. Cambria. Family owned. American made. We're working hard to bring you the Twin Cities best deals at Luther White Bear Subaru. Take a look. Lease a new Outback for just $2.69 a month or a new Legacy for only $1.79 a month. Rather buy, save with 0% financing on every new Outback and Legacy in stock. Also now available, the 2015 Subaru Forester. Whew, I'm whipped. I'm Dan Moen, and thanks for watching. Luther White Bear Subaru, Highway 61, just north of 694 in White Bear Lake. We're here in this auto graveyard to demonstrate a remarkable car polish. New finish the once-a-year car polish. Simply wipe it on and just wipe it off. It's that easy. And look, new finish restored a deep, hard shine even to this weather-beaten car. We polished this car with new finish and ran it through 52 car washes. Even after heavy-duty detergents and powerful scrubbing, the water still beads. So get new finish. Hybrids, go! Original Prius, Prius C, Prius V, Prius Plug-In, Camry Hybrid, Avalon Hybrid, Highlander Hybrid. Good job. <sighs> MPGs, go. With an EPA estimated 50 MPG, it's no wonder 95% of all Toyota Prius models sold over the last 10 years are still on the road today. Get 0% APR financing on a new 2014 Prius plus $500 bonus cash or lease Prius for just $199 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Audi A4 drivers have spoken. And they rank the A4 highest in total quality index in its class. Experience the new Audi A4 at your local dealer today. Main Street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed, they understand what you need. And they are your personal answer, your friend in business and in life. 
Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank is a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. Looking for a nice, big, juicy wreck of ribs, fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the Buddy Bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner, John White, have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner, Pat Montague, gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour, and great outdoor dining, just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington, locally owned, nationally known, Hoyt's. There it is, locally owned, nationally owned, J.D. Hoyt's, downtown Minneapolis. Stop on by, just had a great meal there the other night with Pat and the gang. What a great gang that is. Stop on by, J.D. Hoyt's, tell them we sent you. Welcome back to the 100 store. steps to the Target. Yep. <laughs> and, For dark. Exactly. And bank it. Yeah. <laughs> bank it. Uh, we were talking, we were getting into the draft a little bit, the NBA, the NHL draft just happened. And Do you think you can draft a leader, or do you think leaders just evolve? Can't draw you. You don't know if a guy's a leader when you draft him. Your good players are leaders in basketball, I think. I mean, uh, Garnett, uh, he'd go after somebody if he didn't play well or something like that. I can't figure this draft out. I don't think you're alone. I talked to Steve Alford. He didn't start the guy, but the, he thinks he take him a couple years and he'll be some. But here's a guy that wasn't a starter. It's a freshman, and Flip is in love with well, him. Well, Patrick, I think the thing that makes it funny to people is everybody thought they're going to try to upgrade quickly. You know, meaning that you try to get a guy that can help you right away. This guy looks like a project. Yeah, but I'd rather have him, and you know, maybe he'll be great. He's got a he's got a chance to be great. Adrian Payne had a chance to pl help play for you immediately, but is he going to take you anywhere? He's a decent player, but he's he's nothing to write home about. He doesn't do anything for me. I'm glad they took this kid instead of Adrian Payne, a 23-year-old from Michigan State who can play power forward. This this kid might take you someplace in a couple of years. Who knows? I don't know. I, the thing about the NBA draft is you're, there's only five spots, right? There's only five spots on the court, so your failures are big oh, failures. Hockey, you could draft a kid. You know, you could, this Touche guy, whoever they, the big kid they draft, Tuck. Tuck, four years from now, if he's playing on the third line, you know, nobody's going to say, boy, what a failure he was. If Zach Levine is not getting 14 points a game, Derek people Williams. are going to say what a failure he was. Yeah. So Plus, you got, you got more spots to put in the use In hockey, you got one through seven rounds, and you, you've had great players come from the fifth, sixth, seventh round. Yep. And players that became Hall of Famers, where in basketball it seems like they're either the first round or you're done. Okay, let me, let me ask you this, Louis, because in hockey they were able to do this. The Timberwolves in the history have never signed a really good uh, free agent for any long term or, you know, a real difference maker. You know, that's free well Cassell deals. That, why? Why even the money they haven't been able to get somebody here? You don't have anybody, Timberwolves' with. wife, saying, I want to go to Minnesota. Take me to Minnesota. Minnesota is a coveted location for hockey players in the off season because they're here in the summer. It's not a coveted location for uh, for uh, basketball wives. Okay, but a lot of those guys are single. But, well, but you want you want to know what's funny about it? Uh, when I was general manager, I used to speak one day a year for Honeywell and go and try recruits for him. And I'd go to some of the universities where they had prospective engineers. And I did some research, and oddly enough, I found out Minnesota was the toughest place to get people to go to. But once they got there, it was the second toughest player, place to get people to leave. San Diego was number one, Minnesota was number two. So somehow they got to convince these guys to come here. I think that's a true story. You talked to a lot of those players. The university is a good in the illustration of this, you take the Trent Tuckers, you take so many guys like that, they come up from, he come from Michigan, they must have 30, 40 athletes from over the years from Florida that come up here to play football or basketball and they wind up staying here and not moving any place. 
tough to get here, like he said, once you get them here. They love it. Okay, so then okay, how's Flip going to sell free agent and, and make a part of the Timberwolves? Because obviously they've got room to negotiate with here. I think money has a little bit to do, do with it. But all too. things being equal. I I think it's tough to get somebody to go to Minnesota because they, they want to win. That's number one. And uh, if some team like San Antonio or, or Oklahoma City one wants them, they're not going to come here. I they, will say... I'd like to congratulate Flip on the preparation he put into the press conference for Levine and Robinson when asked which Timberwolf they were most looking forward to playing with. Did you with. catch that? They both said Ricky Rubio. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that too, yes, huh? Yes. Yeah, they both, no, without hesitation. Nobody said Kevin Love. Yeah, so what do they do next, Louie? I think Robinson. Oh, sorry. Will, <laughs> Robinson will play before the first guy. I think <laughs> oh, Robinson sure. was a pretty good player. I watched a lot of Michigan basketball this past year. He's a pretty good basketball player. I think the other kid's going to take time. Yeah. So what do you, where do you, where do you, you had Love sitting there and you had free agents sitting there. How do you get this competitive? Well, I think the first thing you got to do is they have to make a quality deal for Love. They know they're not going to get him. And maybe the best thing to do right now is to make the deal for Love now so that free agents that are out there know what's here and maybe right. have an opportunity to sell them right now. You're trying to sell a free agent in the free agent's mind they know they're coming and love's going but is anybody coming back right not who but is anybody so you you have to get that thing settled and i think that's right now without it being settled it's got to be a detriment at least it would be for me if i was a free agent coming here's back. one problem too you just say thompson is not in the trade and love goes to golden, golden state. state and he sees how much money Love is going to get, and how much he's going to get. You think he's going to be happy? That's a big point too. You bring a guy I see, so in. I see. You're saying all of, a sudden, big, all of a sudden, Clay Thompson says, "I'm not going to get as much because Love's here." You're not going to get what Love's going to get. Right. Thompson's not going to get yeah. it. He's not going to be happy, and that's a big point. Well, at some I've point talked, in time, you got to get the best players you can get and go to work. I just think it's going to be more. I difficult. talked to Michael for quite a while. More Sounds difficult like he's really trying, trying to sell clay. One thing you always have to remember, something is something worth more than nothing. Yeah. And if you don't do something with love, you got nothing. Here's why they Anything don't have, is worth more than nothing. Here's why they don't have a trade. San, Golden State doesn't want to take Kevin Martin. And they want the Timberwolves to take their bad contract without taking right. the Timberwolves' bad contract in return. Okay. Otherwise, you'd have a trade. Real quickly before break. So, so Clay Thompson, let's just say, comes here. You're going to repeat the Kevin Love situation. When he can opt out, he can opt out. I mean, he's got some years left. He's got, he's got a rookie contract, left. but eventually you're going to have the same problem. But he's got some years left. And at least you, by that time, maybe you're building something. He gets comfortable. And if you can renegotiate. I mean, that's your hope. But that's, you, got, you got to do that. There's another There's, point. You need some, though. There's another point. The owners, nobody wants that chairman job in the league. Nobody wants it. All it is don't, is greed. Don't tell me that no. they're doing this to yes, be nice Yes, sir. No. There will be some owners in this league <laughs> who will not touch love with a 10-foot pole. No. Not, because, not, not because Glenn's, uh, yeah. Glenn's chairman of the board. Some. Please. They want to win. <laughs> they don't care who's chairman of the board. Yeah. You yeah. watch and see. If you think Kevin Love can yeah. get you a championship, you're going to say, Gee, I can't do this to yeah. Glenn. Mm -hmm. Back after this. Attention. Please get a pencil. Announcing a hearing breakthrough, a microchip that is so small it can fit on the head of a pen, worn hidden entirely in your ear canal, making you hear clear as a bell, and it's proudly made in the USA. Do you feel left out of conversations? Is it difficult to hear words in noisy environments? Do others say that you listen to the TV or radio too loudly? Do you feel like a bother to others due to your problems hearing? If you answered yes, you may qualify for this new chip in the ear. Only 50 participants are needed to try this microchip, so get a pencil. Call now to see if you qualify. This revolutionary chip actually mimics the natural sound selection of the human ear. With multi-core microprocessors, technology used in the most advanced computers, sounds are analyzed and classified each millisecond, controlling noise and making speech clear. Do not wait. Call now to see if you qualify to wear this revolutionary new microchip.
evidence that proves my dad's a space alien. He speaks a weird language. Drinks green stuff. He says he's from Albuquerque. I'm not buying it. I mean, just look at him. And one more thing, he has a spaceship. The evidence doesn't lie. My dad is an alien. The highly advanced Audi A6, named to car and driver's 10 best. Experience exceptional value on the Audi A6 at your local dealer today. Audi Minneapolis, stop on by, see Charlie and the gang right off of 394 and General Mills Boulevard. Drive out of there with an A8 and you will drive out a happy person. Free agency, July 1st for <laughs> hockey as well. And there's a lot of interest in what pieces the wild might add. What have your hockey sources told you or should I just I wait here a second and Louis whisper in his ear? <laughs> I think uh, Vanek's a big guy out there. And One I think them. he'll take a lot less money here. And he will in uh, any other place. His wife apparently loves Stillwater. She hates it. He's been traveling all the time. And he's got all the money he needs. He can if take that's the way he looks at it. He can take it a little less here. Stillwater is nice as long as you don't down, want to go to Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> guy turned down a seven-year contract for $49 million. If that's the case, money's not everything okay. to him. Okay. Well, unless he's... Well, you could be I, turning down $49 million thinking you're going to get 35 and then you don't get 35 That's yeah, the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. Now, yeah. now there might be an adjustment in his thinking depending on what is offered by the Wild and what somebody else is offering. Well, How they, much could they give him? Well, they can give him what he wants, but that they don't want to give him as much or as long as he wants because they got to worry about paying the youngsters that are pretty good players right now. So they, they're more looking at a three-year contract and I bet it's around five million where if I think if they would go to five years at five, five and a half that they might be able who to do, do Who do you think up. might have the hots for him though now? Well, He's, I think they still do. Still, team you still, still do because his you playoff still, was nah. the last playoff. He still had a lot of goals in the playoff till the last series. Yeah. And they were all over him. But I have to tell you, he's delivered year after year after year scoring. And the wild still were the second lowest the in LA okay. lowest scoring teams and, and they, they gotta score goals. You know, everybody to the was giving the Kings a hard time about giving Gabby seven years. That's but when you ask. look at the amount of money in it, it isn't that big a deal. No. The last right. the last three years are three million a pop or something. Yeah, so, and you could buy and by them then out. the salary cap will be eighty five so, million. So or you could buy them out. Yeah. So for three years you, who, who would you want? Gabrick or Vanek? Huh. On a three year. Well that's not fair because Gabrick's gone. No. Gabrick's gone. But Vanek, Vanek, uh, Vanek will play. for three years, if, he, if they can get Vanek for three years, okay. and, and, and even if it's $6 million for three years, I think they got to do it. How about a Ginla? Who's his agent? I'd rather have Vanek. A Ginla is a lot older than Vanek. Let me throw in another name that I hear. Ryan Malone. You can have him for 12 bucks. Malone, just uh, go back to Vanek. <laughs> or a Ginla. I think they're going to line him with Vanek. I think that uh, Leopold wants him in the worst way, and I think he'll have something to say about no, it. No, he doesn't want him in the worst way because he's already said we don't want to go more than three. And so that's not wanting him in the worst way. And the, the, the thing is, it's going to have to be... It all depends what happens with Niskanen, too, because they're going to go after Niskanen. Right. Niskanen wants a long-term deal. And they got to figure this out. But they have to get some scoring. You can't hope to win a, you know make it on goaltending again next year you know to, to just sit there and think that all of a sudden Nita Ryder Coyle Granlin are going to get you all all and even Holler get you that many more goals they they got a ways to go they need a pure goal scorer and they lose Molson by the way who did score some goals from during the year so you got to get a score is Vanek the answer yeah that's what I'm saying that's why I think that they got to make a deal for him and, and find something that doesn't tie their hands in the future to pay the other kids. All right, take a break, come back, stay with us, please. If you guys could go on a free shopping spree anywhere, where would you go? I'd go to the grocery store. Pizza, ice cream. Mm. I'd go shop for clothes. You know where i go? I'd go to Ticket King. Ticket King! At Ticket King, you can buy great seats for the Vikings. Christian Ponder. The Wild, Zachary, the Timberwolves, Rookie Love. Love, and of course the Twins. We, we love the Twins. Yes, this is where I go. Vikings, Twins, Wild, Timberwolves.
girls go for his theater and concerts, too. Justin Bieber! Hey, I like him first. For details, go to TicketKingOnline.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere. It's the real thing. It's Ticket King. Right, Dad? Couldn't have said it any better myself. That's, That's for right. sure. Main Street is filled with hopes and dreams. The only thing you need is the right partner. The beacon of light that shines that says we are in this together. That is Beacon Bank. Locally owned and community committed. They understand what you need. And they are your personal answer. Your friend in business and in life. Allow the folks at Beacon Bank to be a part of your life. Because they make dreams come true. Beacon Bank. It's a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. Beacon Bank, responsive, reliable, reassuring, and man, do they great partner in business. Find out what business you might want to get into by sitting with the great people at Beacon Bank. They'll tell you because that's who they work with. They've got quite a network of people. Uh, Sam, Max, you've got so much money, you got about a poor bank. Yeah, I just say, what well, you tell me where to throw it, guys? <laughs> Make sure you give some to charity. I'm like you. I always yeah. want them to give to charity, too. Yeah. What's your, like uh, your checks no bounce? No <laughs> what's your theory on settling World Cup matches with penalty kicks? I don't know, man. I've never seen such a celebration for a one nothing loss in my life <laughs> as the other day when they yeah, lost to the, uh, Germany. But the penalty the kicks. Penal, they need this. The, the penalty, the, the NHL shootout is sport. It's, 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 <laughs> it's fine compared, to, compared to, to penalty kicks. <laughs> now, I said today that. If you miss a penalty kick in the World Cup, you're a jackass for life. You know, I mean, you, you can't do it. Some guy tweeted me and said they should blindfold them. You know, they should <laughs> yeah. blindfold them. Why not? And then I had a better suggestion, oh and the God. guy said yes, and spin them around a couple of times. <laughs> I they like gotta that. do something. You can't play for 120 minutes in the middle of the jungle where I know. you can barely breathe, and then all of a sudden that some guy takes a big fall on his face and you get call a penalty, penalty and give him a penalty kick to win the game. It drives me nuts. The flopping drives me crazy. Unfortunately, because of that penalty kick, I think that's where we got the, the, the uh, shootout in hockey. Oh, yeah, you did. In the Olympics. Remember yeah, Peter right, Forsberg right. won it like that against Canada. They're still sick about it. And it still exists in the Olympics. Dino, I can tell you. Fortunately, one, it doesn't exist in the playoffs. I can tell you one thing: cup. if Dino played soccer, nobody'd accuse him of being a flopper. Yeah. I'll tell you, God Almighty. Oh, have you, right. you caught on to this a little bit? The World Cup fever? I have no interest in, <laughs> in any of it. Even Zero. Tuesday's game. Uh, if I can get watch something else, I'm watching it. I'll tell you one thing: I was in Gold Valley today, and I had the windows open. And I had, wasn't having to be watching at that time, and I heard this crazy screaming. And I said, I bet Mexico scored, because it was a couple yep. of blocks away. It came from a couple of blocks away, yep. I bet. And I looked at Mexico and scored. You walk down Nicollet Avenue with all those bars filled with World yeah. Cup fans, and oh, you yeah. just wait for the roar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an incredible yeah. thing. I don't get it, but. Well, it's. Tino popular. likes it. Tino Leteri. My, my son in law played in the World Cup, played in the Olympics. And, and soccer is the most popular sport in the world when you look at the numbers, right? And, that, and it, that's why I think know, Sid's going to buy the MLS set. And you yes. Are you buying that franchise coming in with... No, he's got to give that money. No, 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 we got to go, guys. See you no, back here next week, the everybody. The nationalism is what's great. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Canterbury Park 24-7 Card Club. Don't forget the Card Club at Canterbury Park. Cambria, makers of quality quartz services. Ticket King. For the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. And Soundpoint Audiology. Life is worth hearing.